These look like peacocks to me. But I'm not so sure. I'm pretty sure. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But maybe they're female. Because I know males are the only ones that have that fan of color. So some bike riding. Has to release some. I don't know. Mental anxiety that I have from today's job. So I'm coming to work it off. Also to make a little bit of a sweat on a bike. And I came across them and I'm thinking, are they peacocks? Or maybe they are, but they're female, or maybe they're just really large birds. I don't like birds like that, but I don't think that's a peacock. I don't know. Anybody knows? It's a lot of different things out here. I'm trying to figure everything out. I'm trying to figure out my life. I'm trying to figure out the birds that are out here. I'm trying to figure out my job. I'm trying to figure out how to do my job. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I'm trying to figure out where I stand in my life with the essence. I'm trying to figure out a lot of shit. I'm trying to figure out where my niche is here. Where is a cool place to go and be comfortable and meet cool people. Yeah, I don't know. Anybody else going through this? Sorry for the messy hair. It was the wind that was blowing through my hair. Anybody else going through this? Trying to just figure out stuff. And usually I don't like using that word figuring out. Don't figure it out. Just do it. But you really need to start figuring out. That That is a thing. Figuring out something. I'm blessed and I love where I'm at. And I promise you that I mean that. But, you know, with, with, with all of that still comes the hustle. And trying to learn a new state, trying to figure yourself out because you're in a new environment. So you're realizing things about yourself. You know, sometimes you think about, did you make the right move? And you're like, yes, I did. And I know things take time. As long as you put in the work for it. You know, someone looking in is like, you got it made, girl. You, you doing it. But we don't feel like that when we're going through it. And sometimes you have to sit back and, like, take it in and figure it out. Like, okay, this is what, you know, because when you're on a hustle for so, so, many time, for so many days and you're in it, you're not paying attention to, like, what's really going on you're just in your mind like i gotta get this i gotta get this this is what i want to be this is what i want to do da, 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 da. and you're just going and you're going and you're going and you're kind of sometimes on autopilot and i can say that the essence has been on autopilot for a few months now and the other day i kind of had to stay i had to stand still for a second and realize the process and the journey so far and while i brought a smile to my face and how i see all these beautiful butter on me Do you see them? They never stand still for me, ever. They're all over. There's like four of them. And it's just reminding me of life. Let's see if I can get some, some more. And as, you know, you stand still and you think about things, you have like bittersweet moments. Bittersweet moments, like the other night. I've been like on a natural high being out here. And all of a sudden Saturday hit. And I was like, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I don't wanna go back to New York. I don't miss New York. I miss certain things about it. Because New York, there's no place like New York. There's no place like New York. And if it wasn't for the weather and the people and just that energy out there, I would be I would have been there. But it's just it doesn't fit my soul anymore. My soul doesn't resonate. My soul needs much more. And my soul is here. I wish it was somewhere else, but I can't pick. Like, like the essence being with radio and television. Sometimes I'm like, I wish I can love something else. I just can't. I, I feel the same about this state. I just, there's just something in it about it. I don't know if it's the weather, the palm trees, the people. I don't know what it is. The air, I don't know what it is, but it resonates. And that's where you need to be, where things resonate with you. That's the only way. And don't question it. Don't question it. It's, it's a blessing to have something that you resonate with. A lot of people don't even know where to find that. Some people don't even know what they resonate with.
so you know it's a blessing it definitely is a blessing i got my family out here i'm doing things that i've never done in new york i'm spending time with individuals that i haven't even spent time with since i was young and now i'm building new bonds and i'm meeting new people and everything that i've done in new york has built me for this moment no matter if it's with the de essence brand whether it's me personally I'm just, I know that I'm ready to be here, but there, there are little detours and I'm not going to paint the picture perfect. Even if I have a smile on my face and you see me on the beach getting a suntan every freaking day or, you know, it, it's not perfect and the work has to be put in and it's freaking scary. You know, you want things to happen fast. I want to be settled already. I want my own place. I want to move how I want to move, <laughs> you know, but things take time. And I'm just trying to get on my feet so I can go back home, close up that, because that's going to be a process. You know, I still have to move my stuff out. I still have to paint <laughs> or get someone to paint. I still have to emotionally and mentally close up that, that chapter that I, that I put 12 years into. And, um, you know, it's bittersweet, you know, to, to realize that I'm... Um, I'm not going to be around my circle as much. You know, now it's like an effort to see my friends, my, my true friends. You know, it's a lot. But um, it's a good thing because it's um, very courageous and it's exciting. And um, it's beautiful out here. Like, I just love it. Right now the heat is on. I just love it. This is what I'm doing in the beginning of April. Like... And that's what keeps me here. When I see thee, this gives me life, guys. It really does. It could be raining. It can be windy. It can be a little cloudy. But when I look at those, I'm just like, oh, I'm literally in paradise. I'm just trying to make it work. And I'm going to make it work. Because I didn't do all this to just go back. And let me tell you how many times I've actually thought about going back and saying, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going home. You know, I have everything, I had everything mapped out for me. I have a home there. I got my friends there. You know, my de Essence brand, I know who to go to at this point. But it's like, for what? That's a cop-out. You do all this to go back home? For what? Because the money is not right? Okay, but you have family holding you down. You're not in the streets. You're not, you're not, um... Stay in a freaking hotel or in your car, you know, you're in your parents' house. Like, that is the safest place to be going through this, you know. So, sometimes you got to talk to yourself. I mean, find the silver lining. Again, when you're in it, just making sure what's behind me because I hear some rattle. <laughs> There's always something in the bushes. Um, I mean, look how cute they are. I'm just thinking, like, this is not exactly how I would like to live, but I wouldn't mind driving into one of these little ones and having one part of the house to myself four blocks away from my parents you know uh yeah i just wanted to put that put that out there you know that even when you want to give up even when you're like yo f this why am i doing this i'm doing this just to be in florida like you have all these feelings all these doubts but then you have to remind yourself you just have to remind yourself that at the end of the day it will work out because i have faith I wasn't brought here with a job, got a car, my parents have a house. Like, I wasn't brought here for no reason. I waited a long time. And no matter if I had the job of my dreams here, who knows if it would have been a really a job of my dreams until I'm actually here doing the job. So I have some things lined up. I'm just waiting. But I'm really, really frustrated trying to learn something that I don't have interest in. Um, I don't know the job. You know, certain things I know, certain things I probably can do, but the confidence sucks. Um, I don't, it's like I'm a Gemini. And for my fellow Gems out there, you probably can, um, you probably can um, relate how when you're turned off by something, no matter what it is or no matter who it is, it's kind of hard to have the interest to do it. You know, you kind of just kind of stay afloat. You kind of just go with the flow of it, like... But then as you're going through the flow, you're stressed and you have so much anxiety. Like I have anxiety at six in the morning, guys. I'm up at 5.15. Yeah, I'm working from home right now, three days out the week. And I'm only putting in like about six and a half hours of calls. But when that 12.30 hits, it's like, 
I can't breathe again. I'm getting calls at 6 o'clock in the morning about reservations and travel credits and cancellations and switching a seat and wanting money back and I'm traveling with a visa and I'm traveling with flight credits and it's a lot. It sounds like it's fun. It sounds like it's nothing. It's a lot. It's a lot of shit to learn. And I can't learn it I can only learn it by doing it and that's gonna be a while because it's just so much. It's not just one process. And you know, people, oh, stay with the airport, reservations, you get free trips. Yeah, not really. If you have no vacation time, then where are you traveling to? You got two days off a week. Where are you jumping on the plane to, to come back? And did you guys see what happened this weekend with the planes and all the cancellations? My parents were trying to go back to the Bronx and they had to turn right back. I had to go pick them up yesterday because they had a canceled flight. People were sleeping in the airports. So it's like, who wants to go through all of that? I can't even go home to the Bronx. I've been wanting to go home. I've been wanting to go home since February to the Bronx. And it's just a hassle. It's a hassle and time is limited and I have to be back. If I leave Friday night, I have Saturday and I'm turning back right away on Sunday and hoping that I can get on a flight. It's just not worth it. I'd rather have a week off and then go out there, you know? So, it's a lot. But anyway, I don't want to vent off. I'm just trying to keep you guys afloat with my journey because everybody's always like, share the journey. Share the good, not the great. And I'm like, all right, shit's boring. It's my hustle, but... I just want to let you know that, yeah, it's fun. It's exciting. Shit, I was thinking about going roller skating the other day. I haven't been roller skating in over like 20 years because of my back. And when I'm out here, I'm like living life. Like, I love it. I'm taking margaritas, people. Tequila. What the hell is going on with the essence? But, you know, when you go to a different environment, you get into different things. And it opens you up. And that's how you learn. And you become a stronger, bigger, better person. And you um, expand as a human being. Actually, this is a very nice picture. I might take it right now. I did. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Help everybody as well. And everybody's living their life. And uh, don't, don't be afraid to make that move. You know, I, I keep it real with y'all. I tell myself to get in line every day when I'm stomping at 6 in the morning. Crying, like, in my heart. Like, <laughs> just, just, I want to fucking quit. I don't want to do this shit no more. But... I have bills to pay and I need something that's going to keep me going and you know it's not the worst thing but you know when your heart you know when you're not settled as an individual in a, in, a, in a position you know when you're uncomfortable you know when you're out of your element and how frustrating that can be um, and it will pass I have to keep telling myself it will pass but you know I might have to stop and do the whole thing so I get to I'm here and I guess that's the I guess that's the the moral of the story and showing my my uh, journey that you guys will follow through the storm and through the little bit of rain and the sunshine and the beach and the waves and that's why I go to the beach so much because the waves are like life you know the beach is like life you read between the lines and that's why I'm there a lot first of all I love the sun you guys know this and I. I have went from being a pool girl to an ocean chick. I love the ocean. I love the sound of it. I love the, I love it. Like I actually go in the water now and like jump on a wave, <laughs> even as I'm screaming through it. It's just something different, something you want to be part of. So anyway, don't let me detour anybody's plan to do something new. Go for it. Be fearless. Even if you're fearful inside and you got some worries and doubts, shut that shit off. Tell yourself, get in line. It's going to pass. So what? You fearful a little bit. So what if you doubt and worry? That's part of life. When we are uncertain about something, we go through it. But you have to remind yourself you have faith and God's never failed you, right? And my mom told me that today. Has he ever failed you? You know that at the end of the day, you're going to come out on the other side, right? So I just want to remind you guys. I say that to you. I hope that you receive it well. Happy Monday. I'm going to continue to get on my bike. And I don't know if those were peacocks, but um, I'm going to let them be because they're kind of big. All right, y'all. Te quiero. The essence, your girl.